All right, guys, welcome back. And I wanted to thank everybody, first off, that has already gone and subscribed to the channel. We just hit 1,000 subscribers as I'm recording this right now, so I couldn't be more grateful for each and every one of you. Now, as I promised in the last video, the, the next video would be 94 Chevy, Will It Run? This is gonna have to wait because I just picked up the title and keys last night just to make sure we're not working on somebody else's truck, just to make it, make it legal, make it right picked up the title and keys last night. I wanted to introduce another project that might be happening on the channel. This thing, this thing's beautiful, right? It's a 90s limousine Lincoln Town Car in mint condition, if you will. And uh, we don't know what we're gonna do with it. My boss wants to put hydraulics on it. I think that would be pretty sweet. But I want to challenge Robbie Layton to an off-road race. Of course, after some modifications, and I also want to challenge, uh, or I want to invite Jim York to drive this thing in the off-road race. Now, I haven't talked to either one of them. I'm just thinking out loud here. But hit him in the comments. I think it'd be a good idea and a fun video to make. So as you enjoy today's video, guys, like I said, hit us in the comments on what you think we should do with these vehicles. Stay tuned. Hey, if I've got, uh, if I've got questions about this Venturo dump switch situation, do I talk to you or do I talk to Jim? Take this service body off and put it on that four wheel drive. Hopefully double our money on this. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got a heavy one for you today. We're gonna call this episode Flip or Flop Bed Swap. Now my buddy Jim Anderson, Jackknife Jim, you've all met him, has this two door, two wheel drive truck that he cannot move. This truck's got a Venturo bed on it, crane, welder, generator, everything you would want in a bed box, it's got it. But it doesn't have room for your friends and it doesn't have four wheel drive. So his solution to not moving this truck is to take that Venturo bed box with everything on it and put it on a brand new Silverado 6500 four door. This thing is gonna be massive. Now we're not gonna just forget about our two wheel drive friend. We're gonna put a dump bed on that guy, get him to move down the road. We sell a lot of those trucks anyway, so that should make it fairly easy to do. So as we build this Silverado 6500 HD into the ultimate recovery rig, stay tuned because we've got a lot of work to do. Let's go. First things first, we gotta get that crane body off of the truck. We've got it pulled into bay one, and luckily we've got our best guy on it. I want to introduce you to Troy. Yeah, I'll have it off by lunch. <laughs> the whole thing? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Once we got the crane body off of the truck, we realized that there was an added leaf spring on the side that the crane sits on. So we're gonna take that leaf spring off the two-door truck and put it on the four-door truck to help compensate for the added weight of the crane body on the new build. This one's higher because it's four-wheel drive. It has a spacer. So these U-bolts are longer than the U-bolts that were on that truck.
All right, we got the single cab 5500 Silverado pulled into bay two. It's ready for the dump bed. We're gonna install the dump bed and then we'll get back on installing the crane body. So let's get to work. Yes, dragons. Always send the dragons and the hogs. All right, we're waiting for Devin to finish up on some plastic lands before he gets busy on the dump bed. But um, Devin, what's the first step here? I'm gonna try to do all my grinding and make all my brackets at first. Okay. And then I'll go through and set the subframe on here. And then I'll have to get the brackets for that. And then the brackets for my two fuel lines and uh, the box, the toolbox that's going on. So. Instead of grinding, uh, Devin's actually going to burn off all the paint off the dump bed so he can weld on those marks, but it's very interesting to watch. Take a look. Guys, I had Devin raise this up so you could see clearly the uh, welding points on this. This scissor lift mechanism is only welded to the bed right here. And then we're attached to the truck right here. We've got a lot of weight on these two points of this bed. Now that Devin's finished the dump bed on the two-door truck, it's time to get that crane body on the 6500. We are nearly finished with the Venturo crane bed. Troy's just running the hydraulic and electrical lines, finishing some final touches. We should be testing this truck out by the end of the week. All right guys, that is a wrap on this build. 
We've got the Venturo crane bed taken off of this truck and the dump bed put on. So that's a wrap, but it's now on to the main course. And the main reason why we made this video, the Silverado 6500 HD with the Venturo crane bed. Couldn't be more beautiful. And I'm gonna have Jim actually run you through this thing. First thing we're gonna do is start it up. So uh, this uh, bed is PTO driven. Um, so the hydraulics run off the PTO, which is connected to the transmission. Um, step one, set the parking brake, pull it off the brake, and then there's a switch right here to engage the PTO. And you hear it wind up there. So that's the engine revving up to run the hydraulics, which will run the air compressor and or the crane. Gotta have the remote. I'm not doing anything without the remote. And to turn the remote on, you simply just flip a switch, either way. And then uh, you turn on the master connect in your control panel here. Train power on. In order to get this thing to operate, there has to be a light right here. This little light's going to turn green. And um, so if I'm just trying to operate it, it's not going to work. you got to honk the horn. And then light turns green you figure out which crane control you want to use so we want to lift the boom up right now you push the switch up and then you squeeze this trigger for how fast you want the hydraulics to operate so we want to go slow or go fast depends on how much you uh, do on your trigger squeeze and then from here we can rotate one way or the other up or down that's how you operate the train. That's a quick run around of how this truck works. All right. She's made to pack the weight and get the work done. Okay. If you guys have any questions or want any any additional information on this truck, we'll include Jim's uh, contact information in the description below. But this has been a successful build and hopefully uh, we'll get both of these trucks moved down the road and on to the next project. It should but, be money makers. Nice job.